New York State finally has new congressional maps, setting the stage for at least two brutal primary matchups for top Democrats. NBC News senior digital politics reporter Alex Seitzwald joins me now. Alex, we've got two new districts in particular the Democrats are not happy about. The first is the 12th in New York City. Congressman Jerry Nadler and Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney will go against each other. They have each served for 30 years. Give us the tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Yeah, so Jerry Nadler and Carolyn Maloney were both elected the same year, 1992. They've served kind of side by side. Nadler represents the Upper West Side, Maloney the Upper East Side, with Central Park dividing them. Uh, and they've risen through the ranks. They've both become committee chairs. Nadler chairs the Judiciary Committee, so he oversaw Trump's impeachment. Uh, Maloney runs the House Oversight Committee, which does a lot of high-profile investigations. So these are two heavyweight lawmakers with established records, established networks, uh, big donors behind them. But despite their long uh, tenure next to each other, they are indicating that they're not going to pull any punches. Uh, Maloney came out with a statement saying that she has proven throughout her life that she will not be uh, bullied by men and their ego, and she will run and fight. And Nadler came out with his own statement saying that no one owns this district, uh, which was kind of an allusion to Maloney, because a, a little bit more of her old district ended up in the new one that drew them together. So uh, we have these kind of member-on-member -member primaries, as they're known, after redistricting. It's, you know, somewhat common, but to have two veteran longtime members like this is unusual and it is going to be a battle royale for sure. Alex, the other district to watch, New York's 10th, it includes parts of Manhattan and Brooklyn. You call this the epicenter of American liberalism, liberalism, excuse me. Explain what you mean there and how this new map is shaping that primary battle. Yeah, this is going to be a fast Fascinating primary to watch. Uh, we're talking about Lower Manhattan and uh, Brownstone, Brooklyn, as it's called. So this is, uh, you know, not to paint with too broad of a brush here, but this is where a lot of the the cultural elite, a lot of uh, people that that we know maybe live and and work. Uh, this is home to the Park Slope Co-op that the New York Times loves to write about. And it's home to Bill de Blasio, the former mayor of New York who just left office. He, he has announced he's running. Uh, there's no incumbent, so it's going to be a wide open primary with a lot of candidates jumping in with their own vision. The awkward part uh, comes from another member of Congress, Mondaire Jones. He represented a, a different part of New York, just north of the city. But after this new map, there was this really kind of uh, awkward dance that he did with several other members of Congress. Sean Patrick Maloney, the, the powerful chairman of the DCCC, the campaign arm of House Democrats, he announced that he was going to run for the district that Jones was expecting to run in. That would have uh, forced Jones to run against another young black progressive member of Congress, which he didn't want to do. So he has now moved south to a place that he doesn't live to run in this uh, New York 10th congressional district. But he was a guy who he was just elected two years ago. He was the first openly gay black member of Congress. He's a progressive. He's young. He was seen as a, a future rising star. And now he's going to be forced into this primary against the former mayor of New York and, you know, probably a half dozen at least other candidates. Uh, so it's a really awkward look for the party, to say the least. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.